Well, hello, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, boxing fish. Uh, it's really Saturday morning, and for the first time, I want to be shipping on Saturday. I spoke to a couple of uh, people that ship fish a lot, and they say Saturday is one of the best days to ship. Typically, the post office isn't very busy. It avoids the Monday morning rush, and the best part is all the trucks run on Sunday. So you drop it off Saturday morning, they go on the trucks, Sundays when they're driving. So they, typically they get delivered uh, within two days. So hopefully both these boxes will arrive on s Monday. If only I knew my days of the week. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the camera up so you can see how I box fish, which I've done a video before. It's really not that interesting. Um, the key to shipping fish, if you're gonna do it, for me at least, well one, you need healthy fish. Um, I've had fish in a box for nine days and they survived. Um, I've had a few DOAs of the 150-ish boxes I've sent, but nothing catastrophic, um, meaning not a whole loss, just one in, a, in an order. Um, but the most important thing for me, I fast my fish for at least two days before I ship them. Um, I believe that helps keep the water quality good. Um, I also typically add fresh water I don't use tank water. Now you guys might be saying to yourself, oh my gosh, but no, you have to acclimate them. You've seen how I acclimate fish. I don't typically have a problem when I don't acclimate them. I think one of the, the things we do is we, uh, as fish keepers, we think that what we're doing is best for our fish because somebody's told us. We haven't actually done any research on our own. It's a topic for a whole nother day. All right, fishy folks, boxing fish, stand by. All right, fishy folks, first thing you gotta do when you ship is make a box. It's pretty oh. simple. Um, I get my boxes for free from the US Postal Service. All, pretty much all of them, unless I have, like when I used to ship Angels, I had to buy boxes because they ship differently than guppies. Have my fancy tape gun here. Need to start with good clean tape. So what I do, and this works for me, what you do or someone else does, might work for them. Boom, the box is done. Two orders, two boxes. Uh, a day in the life of Michael's Fish Room. Typically I ship all my orders on Monday, Sunday night, usually I'm down here. At some point Sunday, I'm down here making boxes, got all my labels printed. Um, to be honest, if it's a two-day ship or even a one-day ship, I've had that before, I'll box them Sunday night. I'll bag and box them Sunday night. So I'm not, you know, wasting time Monday morning when I don't really need to be. All right, Fisher folks. Uh, one of the orders is was for Jarwee Lazulis, which I am currently out of stock on, and they're on back order. I'm trying to locate some more stock. Um, and this customer, I offered this customer a refund, something else he wanted, or to wait till I have them in stock, which I'm really not sure yet. I do have one other order pending um, that I have to take care of as well. Or uh, I said I could um, substitute the Japanese blues, which are similar fish, similar in size, similar in color, uh, but obviously they're different. And he said that's what he would do. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go bag some Japanese blues, stand by. Fresh water for the bag. Now normally I just hop up on the stepladder and go up there, but the stepladder is being used by someone else in the house at the moment, so I'm going to have to stretch. Now, the customer ordered a pair. I offered him a trio of the Japanese blues, um, but of course it's going to be a trio and a little bit of extra because that's how I wrote. All right, fishy folks. What I have right here is a trio and two juveniles. That's pretty good. All right, bagging time. 
As you know, I get my bags from my local fish store. Uh, sometimes we trade um, knowledge, meaning if he has a computer problem, I go and fix it. Sometimes uh, he just gives me bags. I really can't complain about the price. He takes care of me. All right, bag and fish 101. More water than air, unless you're using a breather bag. Grab it, spin it, tie it. Boom, one bag done. Now we got a double bag. I always put the uh, top off. Makes for a better package and looks nicer. Now we invert it. And there's two reasons we do this. One, uh, there won't be any corners for fish to get stuck in and caught in an air pocket. And two, it sort of prevents another barrier for leaking, or I should say, not leaking. Now, put it in the box. You can see it fits in the box perfectly. I uh, use the insulation that I use in the winter time, which is this recycled insulation. I use that to take up space so it doesn't roll around so much. You can't see me, I just looked at the camera, but I'll show you. So this insulation really isn't to uh, to keep heat out or cool in or whatever the season is. Um, it's really just there to help the bag not roll around. Then of course we have to uh, get all of our samples from Lisa at Super Cichlids. Thank you Lisa for providing samples. Um, I try to give a good amount of samples to everyone that orders. I think it's a nice little surprise. You get to try um, different fish foods and maybe order from Super Cichlids. So as an example, today this customer is getting a sample of the new Cobalt Guppy Pellet, which is one of my favorite fish foods right now. Uh, PE Flake, cichlid food from Piscine. This is the Canadian company that uses mysa shrimp. My, uh, a lot of my guys, they'll eat it, but they don't love it. Uh, Cobalt Ultra Pellet Tropical, also another good one. Uh, Fry Starter from Northvin, you know I use that all the time. Uh, Community from Cobalt, from Cobalt. Community from Northvin, also another good one I use a lot. And then this is something that's interesting. These are Softline America Sinking Sticks by Tropical. Tropical is a Polish company. Not sure if they got their act together but for distribution in the United States. I know they had some issues, at least Lisa was telling me. Um, but th those things are great. All my guys love them. So they're soft too. So they don't, you don't have to, you know, some of the things you drop in your tank, they're really hard and the fish bite them and then they spit them out. And then like half hour later, they nibble them because they're all soft. They don't do that with this because they're already soft. Boom. Oh, samples. And then every order gets Michael's Fish Room stickers. Boom. All right. Tape up the box. Now, I'm a creature of habit. Let me tell you a story. In another life, I was an auto technician. When you change someone's oil, in order not to forget all the little steps you have to do, you have to do them in order. You uh, loosen the oil filter. You uh, take the drain uh, bolt out. You replace the washer. You put it back. You change your filter. Then you go up top. So you do all that in a specific order so you don't forget anything. I do the same thing with my boxes. I make the box, I put the fish in, I put the samples in, I tape the box, then I add the sticker. Then after the sticker is added, I put the address label on. And the reason why I do this is at that point that's when I check the order. Now. I only have two orders, so it's really not difficult to 
to know what I have, but I do have to remember because I don't want to ship the wrong box to the wrong person. I know that this particular person who lives in North Carolina, if you're watching, you just saw your fish be boxed, um, gets these fish. Now this is a two day ship. And I think normally it's a three day ship. So I think shipping on Saturday shortens the day by a day. And boom, priority mail, box ready to go. All right, fishy folks, I'm gonna box the second one, probably make a fast motion for you. Come back and talk to you for a second, okay? Uh, grab a snack, just a quick one. This probably shouldn't be too long. I would go grab some cheese popcorn. Love me some cheese popcorn. All right, fishy folks, two bags in a box, looking good. Now we're gonna get the samples and stickers ready and tape it up. All right, fishy folks, that's it for uh, boxing up fish. It's not that difficult. If you're thinking of doing it, um, you just really need to prep your fish and have good expectations, have realistic expectations. If your fish aren't healthy, they're not gonna survive the stress of shipping. It's stressful, they get put in a dark box, they're probably bounced around a lot. Um, when it leaves your possession, you cannot guarantee how they're gonna be treated. I assume the post office um, handles these boxes carefully. Do they? I don't know. I got a box yesterday, which you saw in the video that I released Friday night, that had a big fragile sticker on it that was crushed. Did somebody do that on purpose? Not care? I don't know, but the fish were fine. I believe the fish were fine because they were healthy before they were shipped, so it didn't really matter course they were super well packed that's another thing that helped them but long story short shipping fish isn't that difficult you have to be mindful of the weather both where you're shipping to and where you're shipping from and your fish have to be healthy so hope that give you a little insight as to uh, how Michael's fish room ships fish um, don't forget to check out Michael's fish room.com I do have a special going on right now uh, Introduce a new product on Friday, the black Moscow guppies that I sold. Uh, get a trio for the price of a pair. Typically a pair is $20 and an extra $12 for a female. $20 you get three fish in a trio, a male and two females. So check out Michael's Fish Room. Uh, I won't be shipping most of next week. I'll ship Monday and Tuesday and then I'm on vacation. So I won't ship until the following Wednesday if people are looking for fish. So. Shoot me an email, check out the website, do what you need to do. Hope everyone has a great day.